Hi everyone, this is Akash Verma and welcome to Guzi Pharma channel. Now this is our first video and we'll be making video on timetable because in recent times we are actually getting request for the timetable most. So uh, this video will be actually dedicated to the timetable thing. Now uh, before actually starting the video, before going deep into the timetable, I would like to discuss three things with you. The first thing, this timetable is not a customized timetable. Now, what do I mean to say? Now, this timetable is a simple, uh, simple or what you can say a general timetable. Kehne ka matlab ye hai ki my name is Akash and uh, I'm a morning person. You may be a night person. I take two hours to complete one chapter. Maybe you take one hour to complete one chapter. So things vary. So you should prepare your timetable on your own. We are here to give a general idea how you can actually frame a timetable but after watching this video you should sit and have a piece of paper in front of you take a pen or pencil whatever you like and you can prepare on your timetable on your own although you can what you can do from this video you can incorporate some ideas from this video into your timetable because this timetable has been created by the gpat and niper rankers and toppers i myself uh, is in uh, Naipur Mohali MBA right now so yeah secondly uh, uh, what I want to say that we are actually getting requests for the timetable in different different manner like uh, many are asking for daily uh, timetable and many are asking regarding monthly timetable and many are asking regarding weekly timetable also and many are asking for the bigger picture like for five months how should we prepare so we will be actually uh, launching the timetable within two videos this video will be de uh, devoted to the bigger picture that is five months and the monthly basis and the next video will be more specific and talking about the days and the week basis third point which i want to say to you guys that uh, approximately 150 days are left now don't call them 150 days okay just call them five months because when we say 150 days there's kind of panic in your brain in your mind you kind of panic okay 150 days are left how i would be able to finish the slavers so just say to yourself put a put your hand on your heart and say five months are left and when we say months it kind of eases our mind and it creates it kind of relaxes us so it, it's great to call months rather than days and with this thing we start this timetable and firstly we'll talk about the overall picture and then we'll be entering into the monthly arena and then we'll be uh, in the next video we'll be talking about weekly and daily basis so hi everyone we'll be starting with this plan so if you can see here we have the overall plan basically we have to study within three slots now when we are actually given a paragraph or we are given dates or maybe data if we classify them it's very easy to learn that's why we are classifying our timetable so that we are able to learn in a systemic manner so as we can see we have three slots to study slot one most important topics slot two less important topics slot three revision and mock test i think if you are able to cover uh, slot one and slot three with along with the revisions part and uh, abundant amount of mock test maybe 15 to 20 that would be uh, good enough to qualify and also get a very very good rank now let's move on to slot one now in slot one you have the most important topics and if you cover these most important topics then you will be getting around 200 to 350 marks i have written 200 to 300 here but if the paper comes easy which is very expected because nta is organizing it so if you are able to cover uh, cover the slot one then you can get between 200 to 350 marks provided that you have revised it two to three times if your memory is very volatile if you are not able to remember for a long time maybe then you need uh, more revisions but on average three to four times revisions is quite good enough now for these topics we are actually preparing a strategy and we are actually providing it on sunday this sunday or monday so if you are not in the whatsapp group or telegram group you can just find us in the through the description box the box the link is given there and you can find us and you can ask for the timetable thing and it, it is totally free so just utilize it and get and secure a very good rank in gpat exam now let's move on to the slot 2 
now slot 2 topics are those topics which actually are coming uh, within 5 years 10 years or maybe 3 to 4 years so that they are not much that important but they can come and that's why we have given them weightage of 50 to 100 marks and maybe it can uh, lower up to 30 marks or extend up to 120 marks because they are al always approximations but on a general basis 50 to 100 marks would be good, good enough for these topics uh, I just want to tell you guys that uh, these topics you can finish late in later stages because in life if you want to succeed in anything which you are targeting right now you have to make your priorities you have to select what is most important for you and what is uh, less important and what is least important and do the most important things first and that's why slot 1, slot 2 and slot 3 now let's move on to the slot 3 uh, basically this slot 3 is after slot 1 and slot 2 but in some cases it may be that you have to delay and you have to one ही complete कर पाए, लेकिन make sure जो आप slot complete कर रहे हो, वो बहुत अच्छे abundant amount में हो और revisions भी इसकी हो चुकी हो। अगर आप बहुत speed से पढ़ते हो, if you are a very fast reader and you study things at a very good rate, then you can start, uh, study slot one and slot two. Now slot three is basically all about revisions because one can expect that you cannot read new topics uh, during the last one month of the exam. Okay, so in last month month you can do revisions and mock test and let me tell you one two things here first thing is that maybe maybe exam can get extended so that's a good thing you'll you'll be getting one 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 month more so that's a good thing but we are actually pre uh, preparing this plan for five months duration and secondly uh, when we'll be reaching to that stage we'll be providing the right timetable for the revision thing also that you are actually revising the important things and leaving out the unwanted things now uh, how to cover the slots basically there will be three slots slot one slot two slot three and slot one will be of three months plus 15 days basically uh, sometimes we take extra time to uh, complete things and plus the slot one are slot one is basically uh, a package of those topics which are huge so that's why we are giving 15 days extra slot two for 15 days because uh, those topics which are very less asked you can just read them twice thrice that's it then slot 3 is for 30 days just I said before in the previous slide that you need 30 days for the revision and the mock test and one more condition that if you are able to finish slot 1 uh, fortunately before the uh, before the as, dis as described here then you can actually move on to slot 2 and do it and then move on to slot 3 now in the next slides we will be talking about the monthly timetable how should you prepare or how can you prepare actually in a monthly timetable and remember that it's a long journey but if you take smaller steps then you can get success now guys uh, I want your full attention to this slide so basically we are taking an example here so how can you prepare your timetable for a month now uh, you have 30 to 31 days and uh, you can divide into five slots now let me tell you how we can do that you can make four slots of six plus one days and one slot of two to three days what do i mean to say that we'll be covering in the next slides now let's understand example okay before actually going into the week timetable let's understand the concept of major subject and minor subject now uh, in basic language or lame language a major subject is that subject which carry more marks and minor subject which carries less marks so i hope you are clear with it approximately 60 to 65 percent will be asked from major subject and remaining percentage will be from minor subject although although it can vary so be very sure that you are studying minor subject also now uh, we are actually giving the timetable here suppose suppose you start with pharmacology and physical chemistry now why to start with a major subject and minor subject that we'll be discussing in the next video but to give a general idea the major subject has a lot of theory and uh, you can get fed up while studying so we are keeping a major subject and minor subject along so that when you are bored with a major subject you actually shift to a minor subject so that you are actually coping up your speed and you continue your preparation so day one day two day three day four syllabus is same the logic behind that physical chemistry if you are finishing it in three to four days 
it's very good if you're taking more than that you're fooling yourself because you have to take that time for other subjects so this is what you can do now day 5 and day 6 now basically i have taken here pharmaceutics maybe you can take pharmaceutical chemistry or maybe you can took uh, you have taken um, pharmacognosy also depending on your choice and your timetable it's just an example now you have been studying pharmacology for 4 days and trust me you get bored if you are a big fan of the subject then it's good otherwise you can get bored and now it's time to shift your concentration to other subject like pharmaceutics and as i've told you earlier in the last slide that physical chemistry uh, will take 4 days if you are taking 15 days for ph pharma uh, sorry physical chemistry and uh, then you can actually you are actually harming your preparation you are actually hampering your preparation because because uh, phys from physical chemistry only two two three questions are asked so why not give 15 days to that subject which are actually accountable for more questions and marks okay so from day 5 either you could have started microbiology or you could have started biopharmaceutics depending on your choice it's all up to you is it's just an example now let's move on to the day 7 day 7 basically it's the combination of all the days what you have re uh, received what you have received in all day 6 you just need to revise it practice mock tests mock test can contain uh, n number of questions depending how much you are able to solve plus you should be taking one small topic now why i'm taking one small topic here because so that you are actually able to maintain your reading habit okay now this is uh, how you can make a monthly time table and you can make a time table uh, monthly for first month second month third month fourth month and the fifth month but do not prepare uh, in a one go before actually when you are done with the month one then you should prepare for the month two basically what happens we should have a longer picture in our mind that we have to achieve this but we should take small steps so prepare for month 1 then month 2 month 3 month 4 month 5 and do accordingly and uh, actually mentioned where uh, if you have forgot this thing that i also mentioned that in last 2 3 days you uh, there was one slot that of 2 2 3 days usme kya karna hai basically hum jab kuch cheeze padhte hain to uske andar kuch theories aati hai ya fir kuch numericals rehte hain numbers rehte hain technically those numbers are very volatile like कास इंडेक्स वैल्यूज और हॉसनस रेशियो हो गया कुछ वैल्यूज रहती हैं विच कैन टेन टू लूज विथ टाइम सो यू नीड टू रिवाइज एम अगैन सो उन लास्ट टू थ्री डेज में वी कैन वट वी कैन डू एक्चुअली वी कैन स्टडी दैम अगैन वट यू कैन डू यू कैन जस्ट मेक अ टाइम टेबल सॉरी यू कैन मेक इट अ चार्ट यू कैन मेक अ चार्ट ऑफ दोज टेबल्स एंड पेस्ट ऑन योर वॉल इफ यू हैव अ स्टडी रूम इफ यू डोंट हैव अ स्टडी रूम यू कैन मेक अ थिक Uh, or maybe thin register would be enough and write those tables in that thin register and every sunday or every month end you can revise that because those volatile material uh, are very important at least 10 questions are asked from that only those tables so tables are very very important from uh, pharmaceutics most importantly and specifically pre formulation studies So in our next video we'll be talking about weekly time table 7 days and daily time table 24 hours so that you are able to optimize your time for better results and if you want to stay updated then please subscribe so that uh, whenever our video is arriving on this channel you are the first one to see it just so just click on the notification bell icon and you will be notified and you'll get all the information regarding the gpad niper and every stuff we'll be uploading here So I hope you have watched the video and you find it very helpful for you. So I just hope that we are able to help you in the way you want. And uh, I just want to share some things with you, right? Uh, the first thing, never give up, because I know the time is very much limited. But 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 we have to do. If you want to get to GPAD, if you want to qualify GPAD, then you have to do it. There is no other option. So second thing. is that it's still doable it's still doable if you asking me i prepared within 7 months so yeah right now 5 months left uh, i won't be harsh on you but i think if you are preparing with the right strategy if you are going with plans if you are practicing every day mcqs in abundant amount then there's still a chance 
third i want to say when uh, actually we are talking about mcu so the best book for jeep art is in namdar in nam by uh, jeep art companion by namdar i think if you are not able to buy a hard copy then you should be having the pdf and irrespective of the entrance you are entering irrespective of the entrance you are entering you should be uh, knowing that fact that last 10 years papers of any entrance entrance are most important it doesn't matter it's neat it's a gpat it's gate or it's upsc last 10 year paper are most important so if you haven't solved last 10 year pa- uh, question paper just solve it right now because it will help you in a longer run and you'll get an idea what type of questions can be asked and at last i would just want to say to you guys that uh, keep studying and be consistent ho sakta hai ki 7 din ke andar aap 3 uh, din pad rahe ho 4 din bahut waste ja raha ho lekin it's very important to be consistent to uske liye ek tarika use kar sakte ho ki 7 din ke andar you can be like 6 days you can be studying and 7 day apne aap ko relax karne ke liye अपने फ्री डे दे दिया उस लेकिन उस दिन भी मेक श्योर कि हाफ एन आवर में रीड कर लिया बिकॉज हमारा दिमाग इस तरह से काम करता है कि जस्ट वॉन्ट रिलैक्सेशन ठीक है तो वी जस्ट हैव टू मेक द हैबिट कि हम रोज़ थोड़ा पढ़ रहे हैं ठीक है राइट नाउ कि अगर कोई इफ समन इज आस्किंग कि कितना घंटे पढ़ना चाहिए तो सिक्स टू सेवन आवर्स लेकिन जिस दिन आप रिलैक्स कर रहे हो उस दिन यू कैन एक्चुअली गिव हाफ और वन आवर एट लीस्ट ओके and if anyone wants to join with us on instagram and whatsapp and telegram we are actually providing uh, the mock tests on sundays and uh, we'll be providing the full length mock test soon also in uh, the starting of october or mid of october so if anyone wants to join the link is in description and uh, whether it's instagram telegram whatsapp all is given there so you can just click on the link and join wherever you want to and and one more important thing that um, because you demand and we supply so uh, if anything you want to clear you can mention in the comment box and we'll be clearing the doubt by making a video so that you are actually clearing your doubts at the right time and clearing gpat with a good rank so thank you so much this is akash signing off